we're a small team, I suppose. We're a very small team. Um, and we, so we do the camera and sound work at the same time. So we're responsible for the project right from the beginning to the end, um, including thinking of an idea, talking to the broadcaster, seeing whether they might be interested, and then trying to establish the access. I would say that if there's a model, it's just to do with how we approach that. So we're, as Blue was saying, we're responsible right from, from the start. So we'd get the access um, and work out what we were hoping to achieve. Um, but the beauty of a documentary is you don't quite know. There's no script to it. So you're just going on a, um, a hope that you will be able to produce a film working with people that have given you the access. So I usually do camera work, but Blue sometimes does camera work. Um, Blue's better at sound than me, so Blue often does the sound. So we work like that and follow, and follow um, observationally act actuality as, as things are happening. I guess it's different for each um, documentary and it usually comes out of a discussion between the channel and an independent production company. And it will be different, I think. It, sometimes the channel say, oh, we want to do something about education, what could we do, or about a school or something. Um, or there's often there's a lot of meetings that independent production companies will have and, t and they'll take ideas to channels and then there's lots of discussions and a whole development process of trying things out and seeing if you can find good people to film and good places to film. I would say every day was, was very, very different. Um, there might be the common denominator of a coffee, um, but apart from that, work-wise, um, you might expect to turn up and be filming, um, but more often than not, it's knowing when not to film as, as important as knowing when to film. I, I think our films are quite unusual in as much as we take time to make them. We, we, we try and spread the budget so we, um, the length of the time needed to make a film properly, we, we give it. We don't try and just think, right, we've got to make this film about rape in uh, six, six weeks or three months. Um, our, that film took 18 months probably to make. Um, I think the edit's actually one of my favourite parts of it. I mean, filming's amazing. It's all great. Filming is, is obviously amazing and exciting. Um, but the edit is where you really get to start kind of the exciting work of feeling like you're building a story. Um, and but it is yeah it's very long. I think we had something like um, two thousand hours of footage from two months because you're filming from seven in the morning till five at night every day. You've got three streams filming at a time um, on these fixed camera shoots as well as being supported by um, kind of traditional handheld um, crews going out and filming stuff. You can't really shortcut watching it you kind of have to watch a lot of it to see what you've got so that takes weeks and weeks and weeks. Aside from the technical sort of skills that you need I think personal attributes are the most important things. I think it's really important to have um, to be open um, and to be reliable so we're working in areas where it's sensitive access it's really important that people can trust us and you trust somebody by seeing that they are as good as their word. So because we're working over a long period of time, we can build up that trust. There's a few jobs I've gone for where my gut reaction is, do you know what, I'm not that sure about <laughs> whether this is something that naturally um, appeals to me. But our job, I think, is to make, make you interested in it, to make the viewer interested in it. So I think there is interest in virtually everything. Um, our projects are very all-consuming um, because they're over a long period of time and obviously we're choosing to do things which we care about, we're passionate about. I think that is a strength. Um, I think it's also useful to have some distance. So um, we do work with other people. We bring in people with other skills at different points. So obviously um, the editor is very important. Um, and when we are bringing something that we have uh, lovingly <laughs> filmed or got up really early or stayed up really late through the night or know how difficult it was to get that material and they have the objective view to say mm, doesn't really work though does it because there are the two of us we have somebody to bounce things off but we obviously have to also worry about groupthink you don't want to end up being just agreeing with each other which luckily we don't <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I've never felt like oh, I've got a particularly good technical skill or I know a lot about particularly how to construct a film. It just feels more natural to me than that, that you just need to be interested in, in people and know how to tell and, and what makes a good story. Um, I think it's really hard starting out. Um because you don't know what the end's going to be. In the same way as making an observational documentary, you don't know that if you work hard and if you are honest and 
if you are kind of consistently sort of true to the projects that you do and the people you're working with, that things will work out. They will. I think you need some kind of lucky break, which I think actually isn't as hard, hopefully isn't as hard to find as, as it might seem. So you just probably need to be persistent in trying a number of ways to, to kind of find that first foot in. Um, so writing to lots of production companies, looking for internship schemes, um, just trying out any way that you can get some kind of experience. There's no sort of shortcuts, I don't think. I think the important thing is behaving and acting with contributors in a way that you can be proud of and trying to make films that everybody who's involved in it will be proud of and not be thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So I think that that is the advice really, is to sort of decide what your morals and your ethics are and stick to them.